Hey guys, unfortunately it's me again. And today I'm going to show you how you can turn this clip that I recorded of myself, of me walking and talking to myself, into me walking and talking to a robot within just a couple of clicks and without having to know how to properly track or do anything. Obviously you can do all of this in After Effects and all of the other software, but the easiest way to achieve this in a relatively high quality is use a website called Wanda Dynamics. From there on out, it is actually pretty simple. You create a new project and then you select what you want to do. There is some stuff hidden behind a hefty paywall, such as advanced replacement and all of this, and you can get the AI mocap data out of it, but we just stick with our standard procedure. Once you've created the project and uploaded your footage into the sequencer, you can just click on the object that you want to be tracked and masked out and you can choose between all of these characters on the side. You can actually upload your own characters if you want to. But for now, I really like this desert sand robot kind of thing. And for the purpose of just showcasing how this works, I think we are going to roll with this character. So once you have selected the actor that you want to replace, you just assign this selection a robot or the other avatar that you chose and click on next. You should now see all of the options that Wonder Dynamics is trying to consider when interpreting this footage. See if any of this stuff is applicable to you. I think a lot of it is quite useful, especially the AI mocap data that are, you are getting free with the processing anyways. If you're happy with your selection, just click OK. And then unfortunately you have to wait quite a while actually. I think this expert took around 30 to 40 minutes. But once it's done, you get this. And I think this is not bad for literally having to make like four or five clicks. This is actually quite cool. Now you see at the bottom that you can select a lot of other data that you can download and play with. I've downloaded the Blender file and also the clean place JPEG sequence from the image sequence. Once I've downloaded all of this, I can open up the Blender project and actually relight however I see the robot to be fit. I chose an appropriate HDR and a little shadow mask and I just rendered out the robot itself on its own. Brought it over to Premiere Pro and did some very minor color correction and applied a simple color grade on top of it to marry it all together. And in the end, it looked something like that. Does it have its flaws? Absolutely. Was it only seven to eight clicks? Yes, it was. I think there are drawbacks and benefits to both of these workflows, but Wonder Dynamics has been around for I think roughly a year now and they keep improving and improving their service. They are not cheap by any means, but if you're in a pickle and really need to get something done and it has to go reasonably quick and you want to be able to work with reasonably good data, I think you can definitely give it a shot. Thank you for staying tuned and leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more of this content. And if not, well, I don't know, then tell me. Every engagement is good. Thank you very much. Gonna see you in the next video.